same discussion we've been talking about back and forth on the channel for over 10 years now. Minimum wage is not a living wage, folks. Minimum wage, and I'll tell you what minimum wage is. Minimum wage is I am done high school for summer. I'm in grade 9, going to grade 10. I'm going to go get my first summer job. I'm going to make a little money, bank a little money, maybe buy my first car or maybe buy something, you know, and then next year, 10 to 11, summer, summer, summer job, work the summer. You know, that's, that's a minimum wage job. Minimum wage or not living wage. And with the price of, of, of things going up and the price of housing over a million dollars, depending where you're living and the price of a condo, 600,000, depending what city you're in, if you're in a blue state of America, or if you're in Canada or in Australia, New Zealand or the UK, you would realize that your minimum wage job is not a living wage and you would do the math in your head quite simply and figure out that you can't even eat so that's where we're at right now so now what's happening and this is how governments are going to federalize all these stores and chains and all these places governments will be federalizing all this stuff and they have to because corporations like fast food chains can't afford to pay people 20, 30 bucks an hour just to live a basic lifestyle. So governments are going to step in and you're going to have government sanctioned Taco Bell. You're going to have government sanctioned McDonald's. You're going to have government sanctioned everything. Governments will push corporations out of their buildings. Okay. And then go in and just open a, a Taco Bell Canada uh, by your Canadian government, right? With cricket sauce. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to push everything out. So it's going to... so. Walmarts, all these places, the brick and mortar, even big corporate entities will have a really tough time paying people. They'll have a really tough time paying people, right? Because they are now on the hook to pay people a living wage, not a minimum wage anymore. And that's where it's going. And that's been the debate that we've been having on this channel for ages. So let's move on. So here it is, folks. Ontario minimum wage raise, rises to sixteen fifty-five an hour. That's about twelve American dollars an hour for a minimum wage job. And they're not letting me read the article, so let's move on. And twenty dollar an hour minimum wage, good idea for fast food industry. Again, minimum wage is not a living wage, and that's the problem we've been having for years. And it won't let me read the article, but that's what's happening right now. They are putting the pressure on the company owners. So if a little mom and pop small shop like myself, I don't pay myself 20 bucks an hour. I think I pay myself $375, $4 an hour if I want to keep my business open. If I want to keep my business open, I, if I pay myself 20 bucks an hour, I'll be out of business in two weeks, right? So it's getting harder and harder for us to even... Um, make ends meet and then the, the pressure is going on to the uh the corporations to make ends meet and governments will just roll in and federalize everything